Hello, my name is Alejandro from the EFPO team and in this video I'll be showing you a brief tutorial on how to record and export tests using Catalog. My team is the EFPO team and this is our contact information. Our product owner is the Dr. Masusa Yari and this is his contact information. So to begin recording, you need to install Catalog. This is the Catalog website here. You can read up on the documentations and all the features of Catalog. You can also download the full suite of tests of testing the full testing suite however is not needed we'll be using the catalog recorder plugin to get the plugin you go to your chrome extensions or firefox extensions and search for catalog recorder once it shows it shows up you add it and it'll show up, up up here and then you're ready to go so to begin testing you go to the website that you want to test let's say you want to test on the on our e uh, website and you click on the catalog button and It'll open a window and you're ready to begin. So to, st to, to start testing, the first thing you need to do is create a test suite so you can group all your tests under the same suite. So you click on this button, let's call this our test suite. All right, now we're ready. Now to begin testing, we create a new test. Let's call this, let's test the login feature. So let's, let's just call the login test. Okay, it's added. Now you're ready to go. Click the record button. And you're you have begun recording. You know this because when you click a button, it'll tell you that the command was recorded. So every time you type type something or click something, the command will be recorded and it'll tell you. Okay, now you begin doing you can test different features. Let's say you want to make sure that all these buttons work. Let's say you want to go here and here. Or make sure all these buttons work correctly. All's good. So we want to log out. And then once you're done with your test, you go back to the window and you stop the test. Now you have recorded all the tests. Make sure the test works. You run it. And then it'll automatically run the steps that you just did. Making sure the test runs correctly. As you can see, it's doing the exact same thing I did. Making sure everything is fine. All right, this is pretty slow. You can change the speed. I'll show you how to change the speed just now. All right, so the test is done. You go back here. And everything will be green. If everything was green, then the test passed. You can see that here that it passed with zero failed. So you're good to go. Now, here you can change the speed of the of the testing to slow and fast to make sure that you put it as fast if you're just trying to see if the test passed. Slow is for when you want to see exactly what, what is testing. So once you're here, you have two different options to export the, the, the test. You can click here and export it as an HTML file so you can open it in another browser, in another catalog, in another browser. But if you want to export it into code so you can test it using a, a, a testing environment and, and using Babu and Bitbug and all that stuff, you have to come here and you have different options to test to, to export it in different languages. We're using the C sharp, so we click here and then you click save as a file. And then you'll be able to to save the the entire test, the entire code as a file. Once you do this, you can open it in your in your in your environment, in your suite right here, and it's ready to go. And you can run it. So thank you for watching. Once again, our team is the FBO team. This is our contact information. The product owner is Dr. Masusa Yari. Here's his contact information. And I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you.